Welcome back to Mind Pump TV. I'm your host, Adam Schaefer, and this is the second video of a five-part series that we have for you guys. These are the five exercises you're probably not doing that you should be doing. So Sal's gonna get into the snatch grip deadlift, probably one of the more underrated movements for building upper body strength. This is a great exercise. It's more of an advanced exercise, so make sure you guys pay close attention to all the cues that he talks about. And then at the end of this video, if you guys want more information regarding this series, click the link below or click the link at the end of the video. We have a free report that you guys can download. So not all exercises are created equal. Some are far more effective than others at building strength and muscle. And one of the top exercises, probably one of the top two, some people would say the number one exercise uh, for building muscle and strength is the deadlift. It's in, it, that's not something I really need to argue. I think most of you will agree with me that the deadlift just packs on muscle and strength like no other exercise. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that you can do lots of modifications to, de to the deadlift and continue squeezing out more and more results and better and better progress, just like you can with the squat. One of my favorite variations of a traditional deadlift is the snatch grip deadlift. Now, uh, snatch grip deadlift is uh, what you see a lot of Olympic lifters start their lifts at with that kind of wide grip and that low squat. I love this snatch grip deadlift because of that wide grip. I feel a lot more activation in different parts of my back. Now, some people will say they feel it more in their lats. I feel a lot of it uh, in my mid back, but it also forces me to have a different grip and a, and a lower stance when I'm doing my deadlift. I also notice a lot of carryover since I've started implementing snatch grip deadlifts uh, in my workouts. I've noticed my traditional deadlifts have actually gone up a little bit uh, in the amount of weight that I can lift. Now, before I show you the position, which uh, it starts off kind of looking like a regular deadlift in, in terms of getting close to the bar. You want the bar kind of at about midfoot. So when I look straight down, my toes are past the bar. So I know I'm close enough, but you don't want to be too close to where I'm going to scrape up my shins and my knees. I want to be right about midfoot. I'm going to squat down. Now with a traditional deadlift, I'm here, snatch grip. I'm going to grab way out here. And there is something different here because of the wide grip. It's really recommended that you don't do the same kind of alternate grip that you may do with your traditional deadlift where you're, you know, you're gripping like this, you can hold on to more weight. You want to use a double overhand grip, but your weight might get really heavy and you may find that your grip might fail you. In which case I recommend you practice what's called a hook grip. Now a hook grip is where you take your hand, you wrap your thumb around the bar first, and then you grab your thumb around the bar. And this actually gives you more of a secure grip. So when I'm coming down here and I'm grabbing way out here, thumb goes around first, then I wrap around my thumb, then I grab the bar with the rest of my hands. Starting position, squat down with good posture, chest high, arms out, press through with your legs, stand up with the bar nice and tall. You wanna squeeze the shoulders back, stick the chest out a little bit. Squat down with good posture till you come down to the floor, pause for a second, brace your core and repeat the lift. And that's pretty much it. So you treat it like your regular deadlift, um, on, on your workout days where you're doing normal deadlifts and you want to kind of add something new, replace it with this exercise. You will feel different parts of your back working. It is, had has quickly become one of my favorite, absolute favorite exercises. Look, if you like to deadlift, incorporate these. If you have friends that like to deadlift, send this video to them, show them other variations. Also subscribe to this channel. We post new videos all the time.